Yeah, Vito, we got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right, I'll be right there. There goes my Sunday. Open up! We just want to ask you some questions. If you don't open the door, we're going to open it up for you. Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me in a rotten jail. That's good. Because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him... Tony Balls and Frankie the Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Arrivederci.
This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. I shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. Got away. I ain't gonna find him now. This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. I shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me.
of his side. Of course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. The sewer. Maybe that's the way in. Looks like I can pry this off. Sorry, forgot my bathing suit. I say I forgot, but no, 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 I still remember all of them. Jesus Christ, that reeks. Shit, that dog could be a problem.
Who's the little guy? Family. Don't know. Never seen him before. Fuck. by myself just having one fucking smoke relax yeah heard that one before pal said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. Hey, don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. I don't know about the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, how'd you get it into the States? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? Half 
after we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> it's it's just a question of whether I'm gonna be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Drop. over there. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ, what, what, is Captain Shipbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> Vito, we owe you one. Eddie send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas? Not bad. Not bad. Hey, 
right, Vito. Let's get that little fuck. Little cocksucker's gonna piss his pants. What's going on? They get ya? Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? Here they come. I'll have to take them out. Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. I ain't gonna be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy, like a like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. Fuck it. Son of a fucking smart. Think you're so fucking smart, huh? Go ahead. Try. Grind them up. Want to join me? Uh, <laughs> thanks for the invitation, but I think I'll pass it. Uh, uh, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm going to try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm going to go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Lady he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. 
You... You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you want to give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. It's me, Vito. It's me, Vito. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo.
if I let you buy. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. You're gonna knock them dead in this. Take care and come. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me, we're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <clears throat> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. A second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck.
Sorry, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen. A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family. Or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me which finger would pull the trigger. Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. Amico Nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And it's you might wonder why I'd take this risk again after spending almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work. Too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. Hey, hey, everybody, let's have some fun. You only live but once, but when you did, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Don't care whether you're young or old, I'll let the good times roll. Talking trash. If you want to have a ball, you gotta spend some cash. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Don't care whether you're young or old. I'll let the good times roll. Eddie. Hey, Eddie, what's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. <sighs> yeah, oh, okay, all right, what's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right, I'll be right there.
Hey, come on, I need to borrow this. Please! shake the cops. Roger that.
around with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, uh I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. Hiya, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ this. Sake, put it away now. Okay, What's the matter with you? okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. The gabiche. Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. Take my car. All right, I'll drive. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot and use the back entrance.
fellas. Come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on! Well, what are you writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay. No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. So you're gonna blow the hotel sky high, huh? Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another one. <laughs> you drive like my fucking grandma, do you know that? You're still breathing, ain't you? Here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. Alright, Vito and me will go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're gonna need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we gonna get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you wanna wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, where's the fucking bridesmaid? Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Come on, you idiot. Where the fuck are you? I'm gonna kill this guy, I fucking swear. Well, where is he? He go on smoke break.
Angelo, I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was. All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. Let's go. Hey, you two. Get over here. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. You got shit in your ears or what? Get over here, I said. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Let's go, move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. Seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. Fucking hope so. About damn time. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilt something in the conference room. You ain't gonna ask what it is, or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. There's a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span, and then get the fuck out of there. Such a mess, then. He shit his pants when he tried to run. Hey, moron! Let's go! I seriously doubt that, Romeo. Come on, we'll grab some pizza. Then we can play a little backseat bingo. Ugh. These two are here to clean up the, uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. Clemente? The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So now there's blood all over the fucking place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up. And you gotta make it snappy. Calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand here. Oh, shit. Uh, that. The. Oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow. The blue. And the plus. And the plus. Okay, the hard part is almost over. <clears throat> hey, I told you to clean it all up.
Yeah, looks like you're done. All right, you can get out of here. Okay, now let's get to the roof. I ain't used to this much exercise. Why do they gotta put so many fucking stairs? Vito. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Here. This is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified clip. Hell did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. Baldy, that boy's fucking built. What are you looking at? Yeah, hey, come down and give me a fucking smack. Come in, these guys. Fuck me. <clears throat> All right, let's get out of here. <clears throat> oh, oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on, check it out. <laughs> Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost! Shit! Okay, you know. Oh, that's the best you got! I'm back! Let's go, Vito! Way to go, Vito! You shoot like my sister! Shit, asshole! <laughs> He's got a gun! Be careful, there might be more in it.
to get on your bad side. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you Okay. That takes care of that. I hope nobody heard us up here. Nah, buildings like this got soundproof windows. And we're so high up, nobody on the street could have heard us neither. Come on, let's get to the window washing platform. Two doing? I wasn't done with my. Oh shit! Jesus, okay, okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. We ain't gonna hurt you. Here's some tape. Tie him up. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. Okay, get on. We got work to do. Hey. How much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. We better not. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. Okay, this is the right floor. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. What the fuck are you waiting for? This ain't no fucking peep show. Get back to work! A bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. These assholes ain't gonna. Oh my god! Oh my god! Fuck it! What the hell was that? I don't know. The thing just blew. We'll barely feel it, all right? All right, all right. Let's go take a look. I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Ah, what the? Shit. Shit. Christ, I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here. What a fucking mess. Felt like a fucking earth. What, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Lucky bastard. You assholes. You're gonna die for this. Get away. Come on, Vito. Move it! No! I didn't do anything! No! Oh, oh, that must have worn it down with Martini! Go with Watch out! Behind that glass wall! That's the fucking best we got! Get that guy with the tie! They teach you that in the army? Oh, he's a hell of a who?
Going in! That's the fucking best we got! Oh, you're in trouble! Come ah, on, fuck you. Oh, shit! This way, <laughs> Vito, you won't get through there! You're fucking dead! Ah, fuck! The sprinklers are going off! Really? Because I thought it was rain. Watch this! You can't see a damn thing through all this wood! Fuck! There's more of them coming! Come on, assholes! I'm waiting for you. Three... Two... Hey, what the heck is going on here? Get out of there, lady! We ain't got nothing against you! Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi would be in the bedroom? He wouldn't have been if the bomb would go off early. Don't worry, we'll get him. Gotta get out of here. You can't help him now. Clementi's getting away. Let's go. I'm gonna kill that fuck. Yeah, you think it's over? Wrong, assholes. Back me up. All right, there's two of them. They split up. Make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. I know how to drive, all right? Just be ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black limo. Hey, Joe, I got eyes too, you know? Step on it, Vito. I'm trying, Joe. Oh. There goes one of them. Nice job. Clemente's next. Faster!
Almost at Clementi's fucking compound. We gotta get him now, Vito. It's over. Wrong, assholes. All right, there's two of them. They split up. Make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. I know how to drive, all right? Just get ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black limo. Hey, Joe, I got eyes too, you know? You're fucking dead! There goes one of them. Nice job. Clemente's next. Not bad, huh? Back me up, Vito. On it, Vito. I'm trying, Joe. Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. Huh? Hello? This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left them there. Oh, okay, okay, what about Clemente? Done. All right. Hey. Don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main small, thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your idea. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry? All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too, more than you think, but you knew the risks. You too. Hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, well... Just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry.
Hello, sir. Can I fill her up for you? Full tank, please. Be done in a jiffy. Sorry about the prices, but gas keeps going up. It's tough times roll around, you know? Anything else I can do for you, sir? Thank you. Remember, sir, we got the cheapest gas in the city. For a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Thanks a lot, pal. I appreciate the business.
That's a nut job here shooting a gun. 10 4. Copy that. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey. If you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. Vito, you here? Hi. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door and just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. You drive here? Ah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. 
You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <coughs> This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. Right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just... Call me tomorrow, okay?
pursuit of a hit and run driver. Roger that. Who the hell is that? Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. <laughs> 